In this video, we'll learn how to send data from Pure Data or MaxMSP to Arduino. Let's get started. As we discussed in the addressable LED video, PWM on Arduino allows us to control the color and brightness of an LED. We can also use PWM to control solo noise and motors. We'll learn how to send data from Pure Data or MaxMSP to Arduino. What that allows us to do, for example, is mapping sense parameters to LED parameters. The same LFO used to control the volume of a synth can also be mapped to the brightness of an LED. So, the LED will become brighter as the synth gets louder. Okay, let's learn how to do this. As I said before, treat these codes as tools and don't worry too much about understanding them 100%. This is what the patcher looks like in Max. So this part is similar to what we have used in previous videos when we sent sensor values from Arduino to Max. And this part is new. So this is a number that will be sent to Arduino. We'll do multiple numbers later in this video. This is what it looks like in Pure Data. Again, this part should be familiar to you if you watch my previous videos. And this part is new. Because we're using the vanilla version of Pure Data, we need to download external objects, which is easy to do. Click Help, find externals, and type and install the following objects. Here's what the Arduino code looks like. Okay, I gotta confess here, I have no idea how this part works exactly. I found it in the deep depth of Cycling74 forum about six years ago, and I wish I can credit this person. Whoever you are, thank you so much. And I'm happy to be able to share this code so that people can create exciting projects with it. The number sent from Pure Data or MaxMSP is assigned to this value variable. Okay, so let's test this out. We'll start with one parameter. This LFO controls the volume of the synth and the brightness of the LED. I'll add these lines to the code from before. Please watch my LED video first if you want to follow along. The value variable is assigned to the brightness variable like this. As you can see and hear, the LED gets brighter as the volume of the synth increases and vice versa. Okay, can we send multiple data at once? Yes, here's my contribution to this code. So it's not the cleanest approach, but it works. I have two LFOs here with different frequencies. The first LFO controls the volume of the synth and the brightness of the LED. And the second LFO controls the synth filter and the blue parameter. Okay, so the brightness parameter for the LED is from 0 to 255. And we also need 0 to 255 for the blue parameter. So what we can do is have one LFO that goes from 0 to 255 and another LFO that goes from 256 to 511. 511 minus 256 is 255. Therefore, we can have two separate if statements like these. This one is for the first LFO. The value is between 0 to 255 and it will be assigned to the brightness variable. Because the second LFO values are not within 0 to 255, they will not be assigned to the brightness variable. So this if statement is for the second LFO. The value is between 256 to 511. We'll assign the second LFO's value to the blue variable, but we need to subtract 256 so that the value is between 0 to 255. Here it is in action. This is all happening simultaneously and super fast, so it works. Hopefully this made sense. 
For your convenience, if we wanted to send five different values from pure data or max, here's what the if statements would look like. Again, this probably isn't the cleanest way to do this. So if there are more experienced programmers who can provide a better way to do this, I'll pin your comment. In the meantime though, this approach should serve you well as it did for me. I used this approach for this robotic guitar and it all worked fine. I had 12 servo motors running at once and it was controlled using Max. Here are some things we can try out next. Make a sound reactive LED strip. Controlling motors. Create a sequencer to control solo noise. And etc. There are so many things you can try out now. Have fun!